One of our basic beliefs about Jesus is that he never sinned. He always obeyed his Father. He was morally perfect. So we naturally have questions when we read in Hebrews that Jesus had to learn obedience and he, he had to be made perfect, as if he wasn't already. That's what we find in Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 8. It says, Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. Jesus was always obedient, but he had not always experienced all the results of obedience as a human. So in his crucifixion and death, he learned more about what it meant to obey. And this was not necessary for his own sake, but for ours. We can look to Jesus and know that he suffered to the extreme, and he remained obedient to his Father. The author is describing this about Jesus, but his main purpose is really to encourage us that we can also learn obedience through whatever it is that we suffer. God is not necessarily causing us to suffer just so we will learn from it. But if it happens to us for some reason, then there is something we can learn from it or through it as we continue to be faithful to God. As the author says in verse 9, And once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. He was already perfect. So in what way was he made perfect? The word perfect is relative to purpose. A, a perfect hammer uh, is, is not a perfect saw. And a, a hammer that's perfect for one job is not necessarily perfect for the next job. <laughs> Something is perfect when it's suited for the job it's supposed to do. In this case, the job that Hebrews is talking about is Christ's role as our high priest. He became suited for this role as our high priest through his sufferings and death. We might also use the word complete. When he had been made complete, or when he was completely qualified for his role, then he became the source of eternal salvation for us. But notice that the author is again bringing in a lesson for us today. He is the source of salvation for those who obey him. We are to follow in his path. And in his role as high priest, he helps us do that. He is our faithful and merciful high priest. And whenever we need help, we can come boldly to the throne of grace because he intercedes for us. He knows our weakness and he can help us in our hour of need.